In this series, we will learn the thought process and workflow which will allow us to create a reusable parametric 3D asset by first modeling it manually and then finding a set of generalized rules that will assist us in rebuilding that static 3D model into a polymorphous tool. The end product will be a fully parametric 3D model that can generate different iterations of the same type of object by changing only a handful of parameters. This is what we call procedural asset creation and will benefit every 3D artist and creative team. The most important part of this methodology is the thought process. So here's how we'll do this. We will create a few disposable 3D models for the sole purpose of extracting valuable information about what parameters can be generalized. Once we have established those generalizations and taken down some notes, we will scrap the original models and proceed to recreating them using a totally different approach, using Cinema 4D's out-of-the-box tools, a couple of free plugins, and some user data and Expresso. For this series, the object of desire will be a 3D model of a bottle that has a round neck and an N-sided body. The final 3D asset will also have to comply with the following rules. It must have a low amount of polygons. It needs to have clean quad-only geometry that makes it subdivision surface friendly. And it can easily accommodate user-defined rounding. Well, it seems that we have some work to do. So in the next video, we will begin by modeling some throwaway 3D models of bottles that have three, four, and five sides for the body and see what we can learn from that. Welcome to procedural asset creation inside Cinema 4D.